hey guys welcome back uh, in this particular video we will be discussing about uh, OAuth 2 with GWT connection and we will be integrating MuleSoft to Salesforce using the same so as you can see I am already logged in into the Salesforce site and uh, for uh, starting with JWT setup we need to have a certificate that is the digital signatures we require so in order to set it up uh, click on this and search for cert hit enter certificate and key management will come up just click on this so you have to click on this create self signed certificate I will I am just doing that you can put any label so I will put to uh, So this is self sign and uh, exportable private key I will click on this save button but you can check out this key size as well if you want to switch to 4096 click on save button and uh, just download the certificate as well so it, this has been downloaded now It is taking some time to get it refreshed so in the meanwhile what I will do I will again search for certificate and go to the same page and uh, I will click on this research and uh, I will go back one second I will highlight this one and uh, I will select this export to key store so let's do it you need to uh, pass on your password so ideally this password is the same as uh, what we have in uh, during our uh, login.salesforce.com the same password can be used so once it is being done one jks file is also being available to down uh, to download it so i have already uh, i have already set it up uh, in my uh, previous attempt so this is the uh, one which i have already set up similar stuff and uh, I have downloaded this particular CRT as well and after that export to Keystore so if I show you um, this is the MuleSoft CRT and uh, this is the uh, JKS file so similarly um, if you click on the export to Keystore and click on export so this is being downloaded again so this was about it uh, these two fields will be used in our uh, further setup just click on this app manager now and click on new connected app you can put whatever uh, JWT connect same stuff will come up you have to enable OAuth uh, you you need to give a callback URL and here you need to give the digital signatures that is the CRT file so wherever you have downloaded it uh, just give the path of the same so in my case research.crt this is being done callback URL you can mention as HTTP slash slash local host edge rate one slash callback this should be fine and select only the specific one I will select on uh, this one I can select this one data web I think this should be okay and rest of the things are pretty much same uh, we are not going to use mobile apex anything just click on the save button as I mentioned in my previous uh, video uh, why I was using a uh, already configured the reason being this 2 to, 20, 2 to 10 minutes take uh, it takes some time and I don't want to pause this video and I want to shoot in a single uh, single setting so that's why I'm not going ahead with this continue button I will click on cancel but I will show you how it will look like uh, so this is the one which I have already configured for JWT I will click on this and show you the view of this particular app 
so this is the consumer key this is the uh, consumer secret uh, we have to configure the callback url uh, i have given the full access but you can take specific ones as well and single logout is being disabled uh, just pretty much is by default so this is pretty much on the um, salesforce side let's jump to the millsoft anypoint studio so this is the anypoint studio and this is my mule domain config and uh, this is the salesforce config jwt we will be following the same pattern so in the drop down we have to select the oauth jwt and uh, the token endpoint url will remain same and uh, this is my uh, under the principle you need to mention your username you have to specify your store password that is the same uh, which is associated with you this particular username and you have to pass this gks file along with that the consumer key you need to specify okay so this is pretty much it and hit the test connection let's see how it is uh, doing it will take a couple of seconds i guess so test connection is successful it means our oauth jwt is working absolutely fine i will click on this button okay and since this domain project is already being configured within this main application salesforce demo uh, let me showcase you once again uh, go to the properties click on this mule project and in the domain you can see the domain project is being selected so you can also do the same i have taken a copy of the previous uh, oauth flow only so the only change here will be the connection so this time i will be using this config jwt using pretty much the same which we have configured in the mule domain project after that there is a transform message in which i am going to take a uh, map function in order to print in a particular format with these particular elements or attributes and there is a logger just to print the payload that's pretty much simple right let me clear up the console and uh, make sure i am using the correct one salesforce oauth jwt so this is the salesforce query oauth jwt let's hit the send button it's taking some time but uh, yeah so this is being done let's see control f with name so 20 records same number of records which we have already set up in uh, 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 which is already available within this uh, salesforce site right so what i will do i will uh, just show you once again although it is being already done but uh, so this is the object manager for contact and this is for the contact i'm just trying to go towards the um, one second guys yep so here we, here we go just select this all contacts and here you can see there are 20 records right and same we have received in our response as well so this was pretty much about the salesforce connectivity with mulesoft with oauth gwt i hope you like this video and thanks for watching